Hello everybody. This is going to be a tutorial on how to use skim integration with Okta and the platform. Let's begin. The first thing you're going to do is sign into your Okta admin portal. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to applications. We're going to select applications and we're going to click browse app catalog. Next, we're going to search skim 2.0 test app we're going to click on this and we're going to click add integration next we're going to add a name under the application label and then we're going to click next next we're going to leave saml 2.0 as our default setting we're going to click done. Now that the application has been created successfully, we're going to go to the provisioning menu and we're going to click configure API integration. Next, we're going to enable API integration for our tenant URL. We are going to add this URL. You can find this URL on our documentation page under Okta skim integration. And for the token, we're gonna to enter the token that we created on the platform. To get the skim token from the platform, we're gonna go from the dashboard down to company. We're gonna click company settings. We're gonna go over here to skim settings. Under skim settings, if you have not already created a skim token, we're gonna to click add skim setting. We're going to name our skim integration. You'll select the group that you want your users to be imported to. With the group by feature, you can synchronize users by their department or by a custom map field. If you enable this feature, all users won't be synchronized to only one group. Users who don't have mapped information will be synchronized to the target platform that is chosen. If you want to synchronize users only to one group, please leave this box empty. And we're going to click save. The platform will give you this skim token right here. We will click copy to clipboard. And now with that skim token, we're going to add it here. Next, we're going to hit test API credentials. And as you can see, it was successfully verified. Now we're going to click save. We're going to go under provisioning. We're going to click to app and we're going to click the edit button. And then we want to enable the following fields. Create users. Update user attributes. And deactivate users. And then we're going to click save. Now our Okta configuration has successfully been configured to the platform. To synchronize users and groups, we're going to click assignments. We're going to click assign and then we have the choice to either synchronize users by people or by groups. For our case, we're going to click assign people and we're going to assign our user. We'll click save and go back. And now you can see our user has been assigned and we will hit done. This completes our Okta skim integration tutorial video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.